Uh, so uh, sure. welcome to the uh, the Jam Jam kickoff stream. Thanks so much for being here. Uh, I'm excited like crazy. This this countdown, uh, <laughs> it's got real. <laughs> anyway, my name's David Antonioli. Uh, I'm here with Aaron. I'm like, I guess you could say the director at Night City. Um, well, it's not the biggest organization on earth. Uh, Aaron, you wanna you wanna explain your um, your role here? Yeah, uh, so I'm Aaron Bear. Um, I'm a game composer and sound designer for Night City and some other game companies. Um, and I'm also play guitar and do some backing vocals in the Dark Horse Collective. Awesome. And so I wanted to spend just a brief moment to kind of explain the purpose of Jam Jam. So, and also kind of the, the mission of Night City. So my goal is to try and work towards reconceptualizing video games as more of a community art experience. And so I'm mainly interested in providing opportunities for local game developers to share their, to share their art with an in-person community audience. And then likewise, create opportunities for audiences to just be, um, you know, strolling through town and discover some neat, enchanting experience to duck into and see some local art. But in this game, it would be in this case, it would be video game uh, related art, as opposed to you might normally see, um, for instance, a local band performing. So that kind of gets us to the tie in with Jam Jam, where we have a lot of opportunities for local musicians or local bands to perform for the community. There isn't really such a thing for game developers, so I wanted to try to connect the dots, and, and this is just one event to make some uh, headway on that mission. Um, so uh, with that said, I will let... Uh, Aaron, do you want to say anything before we play the song here and and un unveil the theme the theme song for the game jam uh all i'll say really is the dark horse collective is kind of like we're a band of many genres and like our first album is like psychedelic rock and then right now we're in the middle of a well actually it's fully recorded now a progressive metal album with like funk elements psych elements all that kind of stuff so this song is kind of like a culmination of what this whole album is going to sound like so i hope cool. you enjoy and so no no one has heard this yet basically outside of your band is that true uh outside of my band and my girlfriend so yeah <laughs> all right so we're we're, we're excited you to haven't debut. heard you uh it's called new horizons is that right yep yeah so i i haven't heard this either so uh i'm i'm probably gonna try to make something for this so i'm gonna listen carefully we'll play it for for you all here now gather around we have plans for some profit Oh, 
Wow. Good work. <laughs> my uh, my neighbors you. are going to be really excited. <laughs> yeah. This yeah. is a this is uh, a, a multifaceted piece here, uh, and very very narrative. It feels like. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's kind of uh, it was like three different songs at one point that we somehow put together. It was like ideas <laughs> between me and the other guitarist uh, Tyler Clavicus, and then I should probably mention our band. Our band Ari Shellis is our bassist and our drummer. Marty Martin P. Cooney Jr. Um, so it was kind of like we originally, well, actually, the ri initial riff I wrote for this was on an eight string guitar, and we were just like, this is too low. We don't have room for bass. And then we put it together with uh, some riffs that Tyler had, and it just kind of all came together. I mean, it's metal, it's funk, it's like Latin feel, it's a lot of things. Nice. Well, that gives us plenty of material to work with here for the Game Jam. So with that said, I'm going to uh, go ahead and publish the uh, link to download the assets. Uh, once I hit the button here, I think if you were to like refresh the page, in theory, it should be live. And if you click it, it will ask you to agree to some terms about not stealing the music. <laughs> um, hopefully this all makes sense. And once you click the button, it takes you to this folder. And so Aaron, I don't know, can you, can you kind of guide us through the jam jam goodies? Yeah. So, I mean, we kind of wanted to give you more than you probably need in order to do this game jam. So, uh, there's obviously the song in a waveform and an OGG form. And then uh, there is the lyrics for the song. Then there's the tablature and slash sheet music, which is like a guitar pro file. If you have guitar pro, otherwise there's a PDF. So you can actually see what the music is. Um, then there's MIDI. If you want to import the MIDI data for the guitar and bass, um, the MIDI data can be used in any way. You can mess around with whatever instruments, do whatever you want to it, make new drums, anything. Um, and then finally, we have the separate tracks, which is literally every recorded track that's in the song. So every drum mic, every guitar, every bass, uh, every Holy vocal cow. take. Yeah. So, yeah, we had a lot of drum mics. 14, I think. I think that's the standard. <laughs> This is um, robust. Very cool. Yeah, so you can mess with any of it however you want. All the tracks, the separate tracks are the same length as the song. So like some have a lot of silence at certain points because like there's no synth in this part or whatever. So you can just kind of look at the waveforms and do whatever you want with it, really. Or you can cool. just take the lyrics and make a game around the theme. Anything, really. We just wanted to give you as much as possible to work with. Awesome. That's very exciting. So I just want to walk through a couple odds and ends, but if anybody at this point has questions, uh, feel free to hit us up in the chat and we'll try to address them. But we're going to be jamming here from today until 4 p.m. on June 5th. That's when we want to have the submissions due. Um, you submit the game here on itch. And when you go to submit it, it'll give you a link to fill out this little entry form. And that's because, you know, the, the goal here, the icing on the cake is to share the games at a community reception that's going to be held on June 9th. Um, so I just need a little bit more info from you all when you submit it so that I can kind of make sure I understand who actually finished games and wants to show the game and, and just start organizing with you the logistics of that. It's, it'll be a quick turnaround, so uh, we'll see. Uh, bear with me as I do my best to try and coordinate with with those who participate. Um, we have a an opportunity. So first of all, there's Indie City Games has uh, generously 
allowed us to use their Discord server to coordinate and answer questions. So if you don't get your question answered today, uh, definitely hit us up on Discord there and we will do our best to answer things uh, in a timely fashion. So we're really grateful to them for collaborating with us and, and giving us that res resource. Um, you can RSVP for the community reception or game showcase. You know, um, it's meant to be open for anyone, not just people who are making stuff. So uh, share that. And um, let's see, what else should I mention? Oh, yeah. So there's actually going to be Indie City Games is hosting a May playtest event at the Chicago Game Lab on May 28th. And so this would be a great opportunity to uh, just get some work done or show, show, show off what you've got so far uh, if you want to try and get feedback early. Um, so I wanted to make sure I mentioned that. And if you go to this website, I'll throw it in the chat, um, you can... Uh, get tickets there's limited limited space so uh, I guess I encourage you to RSVP early and uh, yeah I think that pretty much covers the bases um, so unless there's any questions in chat I think we can call it a day here and uh, like I said if you come up with something later uh, absolutely message us in the Indie City Games Discord. There's like a whole Game Jam section. Uh, so yeah, Aaron, thanks again for volunteering your music for this. Uh, yeah, really excited I mean, should to... we mention the event itself, like the reception? Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's on June 9th. Uh, there, there's a uh, there's a uh, Eventbrite for it. It's free, so yeah. <laughs> tell everybody you know <laughs> and, and and uh yeah go the, ahead uh, dark horse collective is going to be playing this song along with like 20 minutes of other songs in night city in a small space so it'll be loud and cool and everything um i'm bringing so plenty yeah, of earplugs to hand out <laughs> yeah uh, so yeah that should we be hope awesome to see you there. Uh, so yeah, it'll be a, an action-packed event. We'll have a lot of cool games to check out, some live music. It should be awesome. Oh I'm yeah, and the uh, the uh, single that you just heard is going to be released the same day too on Spotify, Apple Music, everything. Oh wow, cool. Well, we'll make sure to plug it at the event. <laughs> you can Sounds hand out good. little uh, download links. <laughs> okay. uh, awesome. All right. Well, thanks, everybody. I really appreciate uh, your participation. Um, that's kind of like the requirement for this to work. So I can't wait to see what people put together. This should be like, uh, don't don't put too much pressure on yourself. You know, we're just trying to have fun and, and share some stuff um, and a chill evening of video games and music. So uh, good luck. Let me know if you have questions. Uh, thanks again, Aaron. And I will catch you all down the road here yeah thank you for having me hope to see you guys there and see what you guys come up with yeah, awesome all right see everybody